Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. We're taking you behind the scenes of our latest photo shoot, Powder Galaxy. So I guess the inspiration for this image came by a couple people in our team were looking through images and uh, came across some really great powder images where people were um, taking pictures of people covered in powder and jumping through. And we've all seen pictures like this before and uh, just kind of seemed like something that would be pretty fun to do in the studio. And then we kind of thought of like, how can we kind of like take this concept and mix it with something else and kind of take it to a different direction or another level. So basically we're going to be covering today clay in uh in powder and uh photographing you um you'd probably be jumping around and doing different facial expressions things like that but uh the goal is to get you basically completely covered in powder and then have powder coming off your body as well um, but still retain like some shadow areas and then in post-production we're actually going to bring in pictures of like stars and a galaxy and mix that with the powder so it's going to look like your face is kind of like exploding into the universe cool. Um, which makes absolutely no sense, but uh, we'll see where it comes up. And mind blowing. Mind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hashtag boom. And with this, just like everything else, um, because a lot of the work is gonna be done in post-production, I don't even know what it's gonna look like. So the setup for this is actually really simple. Um, you could do the same shot outdoors if it was at night and you wouldn't have to like put up a backdrop and you really wouldn't have to, you know, put anything down on the ground or anything like that. Um, it's a little bit colder and we needed to shoot during the day. So we had to basically get the same thing in the studio. So we did set up a black seamless in the backdrop, which just gave us like a nice clean backdrop that we can then, you know, put stars on over top of it in post and also kind of like use different combinations of the uh, of the little powder bits. I don't know what they're called, powder bits. And uh, we could use those and kind of co combine them together. So on the ground, we've got just a tarp to kind of like catch everything. And um, that's pretty much it. We also did right before we started the shoot, we mopped the tarp. We just put down a little bit of water on the ground there. And that really does help when, you, especially if you have like, you know, dust or something in the air, it'll help settle it. And when you step, it won't like kick it back up in the air. So that helped to like keep it out of the air, which, you know, keeps it out of like computers and the cameras and stuff like that. So just a quick little tip that's kind of nice, just wet the ground a little bit and um, help keep things a little bit more clean. Kim and I guess Corey, could we raise the height of those parabolics each about a foot, please? Now, the lights we're using for this photo shoot are the Paul C. Buff Einsteins. Um, they're really great lights, actually. They're not too expensive, and they have a really short flash duration, which means they're very good at freezing motion. Um, you know, one of the things you have to keep in mind is that if you are going to be using like that brand of lighting, Brown Color and Profoto, they, they also will do the same thing. They're just way more expensive. Um, you don't want a whole lot of ambient light to come into your scene because that ambient light is gonna cause a little bit of motion blur. And um, you also don't wanna mix your sources. So you wouldn't wanna use say like an Alien B with an Einstein or something like that because the Alien B has a longer flash duration and using that light in conjunction with the Einstein will still cause you to have that motion blur. So we used um, basically just Einsteins on this photo shoot, which are uh, they're really nice. They help freeze motion. And in this case, it's exactly what we wanted. So we're basically just rim lighting here. Oh, wow. Here, oh, so it so cool. should be, yeah, pretty dramatic. Um, and then we're using this, do you use lighting at all? Yeah, your, okay. little, yeah. yeah. I've just gotten into studio. So. Yeah. Um, so this is basically just fill light. So this light here is the only thing that's, yep, okay. keeping your face from being black. Gotcha. And then the large, rooms are going to come from from either side so um yeah probably gonna have, looks pretty cool already so to pull this shoot off really don't need a whole lot you just need a person who's 
comfortable taking their shirt off. <laughs> Wardrobe was relatively simple. We knew what we wanted with this image and um, we just wanted basically like subject and, and the flower. So it wasn't like a complicated wardrobe or anything like that. It really didn't need to shoot on location because we wanted the backdrop to be black. And uh, we bought a couple bags of un raw bleached flour or whatever for a couple dollars and uh, just sprinkled that on his head. So um, production wise and you know wardrobe and all styling and all that stuff, really, really, really simple. And this is great because it, Oftentimes we'll come up with ideas that require like a, a decent budget and you know going on location and getting models and all this stuff. And they're great shots. And then sometimes we're just think of ideas that you can do in a couple of hours that require almost nothing at all. And we like them just as much. So uh, it's an interesting kind of exercise to, to play with, you know, like, okay, do I have a cool idea that's gonna, you know, be super complicated? Or do I have like a idea that's, you know, different, but maybe even just as cool that's really, really simple. And I would recommend, especially when you guys are first starting off, like go for that simple idea. Like you might have that super complex idea and that's great. Maybe save it for later or take a few months planning it. But like in the meantime, pull off a couple of these simple ideas that you can do with very limited supplies and still have them look great. And uh, I think that was one of the really cool things we got out of this photo shoot. <laughs> yeah. As far as the technical settings for this, the camera was shooting at 1 over 1 60th of a second. We wanted a short shutter duration and we're shooting at f13 so everything's going to be in focus pretty much with our subject and we're shooting at ISO 100. We got a lot of light pumping into this and we're backlighting our subject as well. Alright, so now we're going to show you guys the lighting buildup. Basically, we've got a couple of rim lights and parabolic reflectors. This is no lights on our subject. And as you can see, the rim lights come in and really give our subject a really nice silhouette from both sides. His face is a little bit dark here. So we've got a third light, and that's in a seven inch reflector. And that's coming in and lighting his face up just like this so we get enough definition. And then we're bringing in fill light from the front just to make sure that his body isn't completely black. And that's via a uh, V-flat shining right at our subject. So you guys can see this is, um, right now, all the lights are at the same power because it's, uh, we're doing this for video. But with the stills, the uh, lights in the background will be about two stops brighter than our fill light. And uh, that's pretty much it to get this exact look. Working with bottles is, it changes for every single model and every single photo shoot. Sometimes you have a very like difficult concept or an emotion you want to get across. Sometimes it's a little bit more simple. In this case, we wanted to have our subject, you know, with the shirt off and kind of like looking away from the camera a little bit and spinning around in some powder. So not anything that required like uh, something too emotionally deep or anything like that or the perfect smile and anything like that so um, it was a little bit easier on the model and it was a little bit easier on the photographer uh, that being said Clay did a really great job at kind of like bringing that expression with his body you know paying attention and he did it naturally I, I didn't have to tell him to do almost anything but um, you know doing things like raising one shoulder and lowering another like bringing a hand across things like this and you know pulling across these like interesting uh, movements is really what makes the images come alive and um, I think a, a good model will know how to do that already and you know if you don't have a model who's doing that sort of thing just remember um, tell them to use angles and like raise a shoulder lower another shoulder like do the same thing with their hips put a, a weight on one leg or the other and those sort of tips will really help a person just kind of look a little more dynamic when you're photographing them. I had a lot of fun the direction helped whenever you were telling me to just jump a little bit shorter and then also just kind of knowing where the lights were coming from so that I knew kind of what you were seeing through the camera. Okay. Possibly. Yeah. And I guess, well, I came around and showed you a couple times. Yeah. What, was that pretty helpful? Yeah. So like whenever I saw that the light was more on the sides of me and then just lit up just lightly in the front. So I kind of knew, you know, angles to use and whatnot. Yeah. Awesome.
So being covered in powder was uh, kind of like whenever you're a little kid and you bury each other in the sand at the beach. So, um, but today I'm just jumping around with it on me. Was it comfortable and was it okay? Yeah, it was fine. Um, luckily I had my hair to keep it out of my eyes for the most part. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, water bottles, uh, eye swab, you know, it was all good. Yeah, so, we took yeah. good care of them. Yeah, a day in the office. <laughs> <laughs> So the vibe of the shoot was really upbeat, especially whenever we did crank up the music. Um, I'm a, a person who really uh, acts off of those type of senses. So like whenever we had like fun, loud music, then you really just kind of forget about everything that's around you. And then you kind of just get in the moment. So, and just have fun with it. Yeah, I'm the exact same way. Yeah. Yeah. All right, awesome. Guys, thanks so much for joining us behind the scenes and be sure to check out upcoming tutorials coming soon.